So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for Dax Fridays, a new Dax function every Friday. And in today's Dax Fridays, we're going to do a little bit of theory. We're going to talk about role-playing dimensions. I'm going to tell you what it is, and I'm going to tell you how you solve for it. Okay, so let's get started. So a role-playing dimension is a field on a table that can have multiple relationships with another field on another table. Normally, the first field is the dimension table and the other one is the fact table. If you don't know what a dimension of fact table is, I have a video, go check it out. But what you need to know is basically when a field can have multiple re relationships with another field on another table, okay? Example, I have here the Northwind data set and I have a relationship between date from the calendar and orders from the order date. Order date from orders table. So nothing weird here. We have a one date for multiple dates on the order table. That's wonderful. But if you look at this table, there is also required date, there is ship date, <laughs> there are tons of dates that also, if you want to do calculations on that, it needs to be related with date. So Dates should have also a relationship with a required date and another one with ship dates if you want to do calculations on ship dates and required dates. Now, look what happens. You can only have one active relationship between two tables. I have a video that, that talk about understanding relationships. I'm going to post it down below. But you are going to see that there is a straight line between those and this is a dotted line and this is a dotted line. Dotted lines it means there is an inactive relationship. Actually, if you click on the relationship itself, you'll see that this is active. And if you click on the dotted line, you will see that this is not checked. And you can actually not check it because it says that you already have one active relationship. You can only have one between two tables so you don't create ambiguity. You need to tell Power BI which relationship you should use. And instead of doing that and making it too complicated, what they decided is says, okay, you can only have one active and then you can activate the other ones when you want. And this is exactly what you need to do when you have these four plain dimensions. It means when you have, again, one field on the, in this case, it's on the calendar, the date col column, the date field, that can have multiple dates associated into the order table. Now, to solve this, it's actually quite easy. What you need to do is to, if you are, if you need order date, just do your DAX as normal, no problem. It's going to take order date by default because it's the active relationship. If you need to do calculations on required date or ship date, there is a DAX function called due to relationship. I have a video down below that explains this exactly how it works. So if you take that, user relationship. If you say, I want to calculate the number of quantity of orders delivered by ship date, you just use the relationship. And that will do that it deactivates this one and activate that one, and then you will get it. So think about it like turning a light off and on, right? The user relationship does that with relationships. It turns them on or off, depending on what you want to do. Now, another way to solve for this is to have a calendar for each date. So you have one calendar table for order date, one calendar table for required date, one calendar for a ship date. But here is the order dates are just one thing. You can have also, for example, for customers and addresses, you can have ship address, deliver address, requested address, billing address, invoice address. You can have like a ton of addresses and that would mean that you would need to duplicate those tables too. And you can imagine the mess that you are going to have in your model. It is going to get bigger, it is going to get slower, it is going to get harder to maintain and users are going to get super confused. You suddenly you have six calendars and eight address tables in there, right? So. Even though there is a possibility, I would recommend you not to do it unless you have to do it. And I don't know when you have to do it because I haven't got to that scenario yet. I've been always to solve these things. I've been able to solve these things with user relationship. So if you know, let me know down below. But this is what you need to remember. Role-playing dimensions are when you have one field on the dimension table or one table that can have multiple 
relationships with the other tables and you solve it by using inactive relationships and activate them when you want them using user relationship okay oh by the way i have a, published a video on i read the um, factfulness by hans Roslin. i have published a video review or a book review on my other channel go and check it out if you want to see that recommend you to read that book with that said i wish you a happy friday have a nice weekend the holidays if you're on holidays i am not on holidays anymore and uh, i will see you again on monday with another part of my video let's see what it will be so take care bye bye